the Rainbow Dunes Plaza and Strip Mall. There used to be an old Kmart right there. And the place is abandoned now. It's all closed up. Some of the places are all closed up. We used to skate here all the time. It used to be alive. It's a structure, but it's dead, you know? It's dead, it's gone. And there's a sadness to it. This plaza used to be alive and jumping. People come into the Kmart to shop. And I was here skateboarding and I would get kicked out. Nobody thinks about this plaza, but I do. And I like those stairs. And I don't know, I feel like everybody else abandoned it, not me. I'm here enjoying it and I still love it the same way. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody who doesn't skate. The love of skatable man-made structures. Some call it trespassing. I just call it having a good time. Chris and I are going to a dinner party tonight and I decided to dress up. I don't really do it often, but when I do, it's kind of fun. Oh, check this out. Yellow Vans. So the party is going very well. It's a private residence. So I'm running out of juice here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to something else. I'm gonna definitely practice those a lot more. The problem with skateboarding is that it lures you into a false sense of security. You think that by going slower, you'll be safer, it'll be better. You really don't wanna go slower, you wanna go quicker. It's all about commitment. You have to commit 100%, otherwise you could get hurt. But the problem is that I have to get over that crutch of going slower. Now I don't need to go Mach 1, and you may not have even noticed a difference in my speed from that 50-50 to the ones that I've done previously, but I definitely feel it. So right now I'm just gonna move on to some backside 50-50s right here and uh, try and increase the speed little by little, and then we'll move on to the rail. right got the Star Wars Crocs got them for Christmas yesterday today is the day after Christmas and I'm a little hungover one of the things that Krista and I do when we have a little too much to drink is we dance like we dance it's so embarrassing and we always wake up the next day like oh my god why did we dance but I don't mean dancing like couples dancing, like waltzing. Like, no, we try to like, you know, we try to get down, like break dance and, you know, there's, there's a, we've been known to throw a robot or two in there, some cabbage patch, running man, oh, kid and play. Oh man, we do it all. And uh, yeah, we have fun when we're doing it. And in our minds, we're like, you know, you know, we're bringing it, but uh, uh,
today I'm gonna watch. So this is how you lace up shoes really, really quickly. You just make it into a little ball like that, and... Alright, we're about to check out Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Yeah, so we got here early so we can play some skee-ball before the movie. So riding the elevators at the Red Rock. Red Rock is always a game of chance because last time we were there we got stuck in the elevator. And then uh, my brother-in-law, uh, Valentino, he went in the elevator and it just dropped like a story. So it's a true testament to how lazy we are. We're willing to risk going in those iffy elevators because we don't want to take the stairs. Well, we got done with ski ball because uh, there were too many people that they told me to stop recording though. So, whatever. I did it anyway. This is my favorite. You're not allowed to record in the movie. Yeah. I'm gonna record the whole movie. <laughs> okay, are you gonna stop being all pouty? <laughs> Look at my hair. So, so what'd you think? Did you like it? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I really liked it. Star Wars is the bomb. That movie was the bomb. Yeah, but it was ruined. Why? It's talking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there was an old guy behind us and he was just hyped. That was it. He was just all hyped on the movie, but he was like, he kept like narrating the movie and then narrating it for his wife. And it was kind of irritating because I was trying to get all into it, but. We had to get off the elevator. We parked on the fourth floor, but we got off on the third because, or the, yeah, the third because uh, as soon as we got in, the elevator dipped down. So I don't know, man, those elevators, these elevators here by the bowling alley at uh, Red Rock, they suck. They're really scary and very unpredictable. And I think that is the last time we're gonna ride those elevators. Krista. Yeah, hey, come on, come on.